Eric Chen here with a uh, part two of the Gundam DVD collection video. And here's what you get inside the other half of the Gundam Zeta box. Just to refresh your memory, here's in this side. DVD is on this side, and this box stuff is in here. And also, of course, this poster. Of course it's kind of hard to see, but let me... There is a Zeta Gundam. There is the Gundam Mark II. There is a Psych Gundam right here. And I believe it's a... Uh, Hike. Pronounce Haiku Shiki, Haiki Shiki, not sure. So uh, for these four models, I definitely plan on getting them for the High Grade Universal Century kits at some point. Although for the Haiki Shiki, uh, I believe one of them is actually like, has an extra finish or something. It looks like it does. So I might not want to get that one. But I believe there's like two or three of them. One of them is yellow. So I'll probably get that one instead. So let's take a look at these. Uh, these are actually pencil sharpeners. First up, Zeta Gundam. As you can see, uh, there's a whole bunch of box and boxes, and each pencil sharpener, has, along with uh, removal pieces, are individually wrapped in each box. So this one, there's the Zeta Gundam, and then on it, uh, there's the shield that comes off. Well, it's more like uh, you're supposed to put the shield on, the arm with the gun, and uh, this thing. This. So this Zeta Gundam, I definitely look forward to purchasing at some point. The High Grade Universal Century version, I mean. And I guess in the distant future, if I have the time and money, I'll get the Mass Grade 2.0. And here's the Gundam Mark II. And uh, I like this suit a lot. Probably because it was mass produced. Well, they made like two or three of them, I believe. So maybe not mass produced is the right word, but it was uh, supposed to be a grunt suit, I believe. They just didn't have enough time to make more, I guess. And here's, I believe. I believe it's the old Gundam, correct me if I'm wrong. And it looks pretty awesome. And it's like $23 for the 1 to 4 and 44 scale. I'll probably get that at some point. And here's the Haiki Shiki. If anyone wanna, wants to tell me how to pronounce it, go ahead. Post in the comments. Some of the pieces are kind of bent, unfortunately, because these these are made out of rubber, I believe. And I have not showed you the bottom yet. The pencil sharpener. Each one is a pencil sharpener. And a piece just fell out. And the next one's gonna be the Rick Diaz. For this month only, I got them store more the I believe it's a was a storm or a shroom or sherm. Some other Diaz is actually on sale, so I'll probably pick that up by the end of the month. Even though I promised my dad I wouldn't I would stop buying gun model kits until I get a job, but I don't see how I can hold that promise when Gundam Store More has kits on sale every month. Even though so far I haven't bought any of the on sale kits, but I figure if I'm gonna, if I plan on getting almost every 1 to 144 set, I'll probably have to start purchasing the ones on sale every month. I mean, if I do it that way, I'll save a little bit of money every month, I believe. 
And here's a suit that I have no clue what it is. Looks like a goat though. At least in my opinion. Like the feet look like goat feet. And it's really skinny like a goat. As if it has this big fat dress. And three boosters. Maybe uh, there's actually more detail to this and they decide not to depict it or or that's how the actual suit looks like. I guess I should uh, finish watching the series when I get bored of building Gundam model kits. You know, and my dad is, you know, saying, No more Gundam model kits, Eric. Stop wasting my money. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's, I, I understand where my dad's coming from. He's working his ass off to get all this money to support his family. And I'm loafing around at home playing with toys, spending all his money. So, uh, I'll, I mean, I'm, I've been applying to jobs and stuff, but so far, no interviews. Well, he's not too concerned about the money, but uh, the fact that I just spin around all day playing with toys. He wants me to get out of the house. So here's another suit. I don't know. Same with the blue one. These don't even look like, you know, mobile suits from Gundam. They look like, you know, from a different series. Like, this one looks like a Transformer, almost. I guess that's what happens when you don't watch the entire series. I believe I watched up to, like, episode 13 or 10. And here's Quibbly, or Quibbly. I think it's Quibbly. Well, the only reason I know this is because uh, I've seen like five versions of it on dalong.net. So those three back sets, uh, I mean those three back model mobile suits have not been made into sets as far as I can tell. And uh, this looks pretty cool. Although I probably wouldn't want to get it. This is one of the few sets I might not get, but I'll probably end up getting it. <coughs> Anyway, and I think I just burped. Don't know if you guys can hear that. And you probably don't want me to... Don't want to hear about me commentating about my bodily functions. Well, one thing I like about this suit is... Uh, the head it reminds me of an alien. From Aliens. Alien. Slash Aliens. That whole... What was it? Quadrilogy or now? And also, it looks a little bit like uh, one of the bad guys from Dragon Ball Z. I think it's Frieza. Or was it Cell? I don't know. I think both of them, they end up having a really long head. So, uh, that's it for these uh, pencil sharpeners. Uh, originally, I kept them in a the box. But I guess uh, since I have all my Gunna Model Kits on display now, I there's no reason why I should be hiding these uh, pencil sharpeners. I mean, they look not bad for a pencil sharpener. So that's it for this video. See you guys next time.